Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Where today guys, I'll be showing you how to connect iPhone on MacBook. So guys, the first thing that you of course need to do is go and open your MacBook and you'll be greeted by a screen looking like this. Now, let's see what we else have in front of us here. So in the top left corner, as you can see, we have the file, edit, view and go. And we also have the window and help options. In the top right corner, on the other hand, we have the dates, we have the Wi-Fi battery and all of those things. And in the bottom of the screen, we have all of your applications. Well, not all of them, but the ones that you are using the most. But now guys, let's see how you can actually go and connect iPhone on MacBook. So first of all, use the, you can use by using a cable. So use the charging cable that came with your iPhone. So a lightning to USB or USB-C to lightning, depending on your device. Connect the cable to your iPhone and the other end on your MacBook's USB port. If prompted, tap trust on your iPhone to allow the connection. Then on your MacBook, open the finder and select your iPhone under locations. You can now sync con uh, content, transfer file or update your iPhone. You can do it with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So go to settings, then Bluetooth on both iPhone and MacBook and pair the devices. Then enable AirDrop on both devices and share files by selecting AirDrop in the share menu on your iPhone and the AirDrop in the finder on your MacBook. Then sign in the same Apple ID on both devices and enable iCloud Sync for apps and data. So guys, that will be everything for this video. I hope that you found this video informative and entertaining, guys. If you did, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel and put the notifications on as guys, this really helps us grow our channel. So if you have a few seconds, it'll be pretty cool if you could do this for us. That'll be everything and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.